Good evening. Y'all doing all right tonight? Aren't you glad you're in the house of the Lord on Christmas Eve night? Amen. And we're here to give God all the glory and all the praise. And we're here to honor our Lord Jesus Christ, who was born in a manger, was born a king, a lord, the lord of lords, the king of kings, whom we have the opportunity to worship tonight. What a thrill, amen? Tonight we have come together to lift our voices and our praise to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We gather to celebrate the birth of the one and only, the Prince of Peace, the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, the Emmanuel. May we pray together. Our Father God, we thank you. We thank you, God, that you so loved us, that you gave your only Son, that we might have life, and God, in that life, we may have a rich fellowship with you, dear God. And God, I thank you for sending your Son, Jesus Christ, who was born to die. God, that we might come to your presence through him, through the blood and sacrifice that he made on Mount Calvary. And God, we thank you. God, we thank you, God, for the opportunity to be here tonight. And Lord, the opportunity to worship you. Lord, you desire us to worship you. And Lord, I just pray that we will forget about everything that is going on in our lives right now. And Lord, that we might bow and we might worship you as King of Kings, Lord of Lords, our Prince of Peace, Emmanuel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good evening. It is so good to have you guys here tonight. If you would, would you turn in your hymnals to number 82, and we are going to sing Emmanuel, and we will be singing it two times, and let's stand as we sing. turn to number 76, remain standing. We're going to sing the first and the fourth verse. O come, O come, Emmanuel.
may be seated. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord, Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into the inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade, kept in heaven for you. And if you would, turn to number 88. And we're going to go ahead and stand one more time. You'll be able to be seated for a while after this. Hark the herald angels sing. We're going to sing all three verses. Hark the herald angels sing. Glory to the newborn king. Peace on earth and mercy mild. God and sinners reconciled. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be, married to, uh, to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be with the child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you, will, and you are to give, his, give him his name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet, <laughs> The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. Tonight, we light the first candle in remembrance of the hope Christ brings to us. Turn with me, if you will, to hymn number 86. We're going to sing the first three verses, O Little Town of Bethlehem. Yeah. 
stars are brightly shining, it is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining, till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees. Scripture reading from Luke 1, 26 to 38. In the sixth month, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid. Mary, you have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I'm a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be barren is in her sixth month. 
for nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. Tonight we will light the second candle in remembrance of the peace that Christ has brought into the world. Turn with me, if you will, to number 893 in your hymn book. We're going to sing the first and fourth verse. It came upon a midnight clear. sing a song here called Dona Nobis, Dona Nobis Pacem, sorry about that, it's Latin, and it means grant us peace. Dona Nobis Pacem, Pacem, Dona Nobis Pacem. scripture reading is from Luke 2, 1 through 7. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to his own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. 
turn with me to number 103, Away in the Manger, and we shall sing all three verses. The scripture reading is from Luke 2, 8 to 15. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. Tonight we light the third candle rejoicing because of the overwhelming joy that Jesus has given us. Turn with me to 108, How Great Our Joy, and we will sing all four verses.
So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. As John explains to us in his gospel, this child was born to give away, give his life away. For God so loved the world that he gave this one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Tonight we light the fourth candle to remember the love that Jesus revealed in his coming and his dying for each of us. Go ahead and stand with me if you would, and let's turn to hymn number 89, O Come All Ye Faithful, and we'll sing all three verses. Shepherds gaze in wonder While angel voices sing This night of nights has come And brought the world the long-awaited Is filled with gladness, and yet 
the heavens weep for heaven's eyes can see that he was born to die for me Jesus baby Jesus is that a tear your eyes Jesus sweet baby Jesus you must know you were born to die Well, it must have broken God's heart For the future he could see Still he formed the hands and feet Knowing one day they'd be nailed to a tree So all the world could know him A gift came from above For God so loved the world That he gave his only son That a tear in your eyes Jesus Baby Jesus You must know You were born to die So Jesus Thank you Jesus For your gift of eternal life my Jesus thank you Jesus for you he was born to die From Isaiah 9, 6 and 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. And from Matthew 28, 18 to 20, Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And now we light that white Christ candle in honor of the birth, life, and the light of Jesus.
tonight as we come together. There's two reasons why we celebrate the Lord's Supper. Tonight is a tremendous night that we do that in remembrance of him. Remembrance of our Lord Jesus Christ who has the song that was saying he was born to die. Not to die in vain. Not to die for any other reason but to save the world. And tonight we remember him for that. And we celebrate the birth, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. The second reason we come together to take of the Lord's Supper is to bring fellowship between the Holy Spirit and us in the presence of the Lord. And Paul says, let a man examine himself. And that's why we're here tonight also, to examine ourselves in the presence of God that we may sit at his table and take of the cup and the bread in reverence, in remembrance of him as we examine ourselves and ask God to forgive us of our sins. May we do that right now. Lord, we come to your table asking God to forgive us of our sins and trespasses against you. And Lord, make us worthy to come to your table, to eat of your body and drink of your cup as we show remembrance of you. And Lord, let us clean our hearts and our lives and let us just snuggle up to you right now in fellowship, in joy, in peace as we have Emmanuel, God with us in our hearts. We praise you and we thank you. And the Bible says that he took the cup, uh, took the bread, and he broke it. And he said, "This is my body." And he gave it to his disciples. gave it to his people.
blessed it. Thank you, Lord, for your body that was sacrificed for our lives, that we are complete in you with fullness as you gave example of us to live. And we take this bread into our mouths in remembrance of you. And he said, take ye. And he blessed the cup. Thank you, Lord, for this cup. The blood that was shed for us. A symbol that you so loved us. That you shed your blood that we might have life. And that we might have everlasting life. Abundant life. And Lord, we thank you, God, that you brought us to yourself through the person of Jesus Christ. By his blood, we are made whole. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
he said, take this cup. It's the blood of the New Testament. I will not drink of this cup until I drink it anew with you in the Father's kingdom. Drink you all of it. It said when they had sung a hymn, they went into the Mount of Olives. What we're going to do tonight is we're going to remember our Lord. We're going to light our candles as we sing Solid Night. And then after Solid Night is sung, we will sing Joy to the World. And as we sing Joy to the World, we will depart out of the sanctuary and we'll meet up in the, uh, the foyer. Amen? All right. Savior is born. Christ. Christ. 